Hey guys, Golden Dragon here back with another video. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the iPhone X. So the iPhone X brought a lot of change to the iPhones in 2017. It gave us a brand new design, face ID, two cameras at the back and a new glass design with stainless steel around it. So the iPhone X in my opinion is the most changed iPhone of all time. It's been supported since iOS 11.1.1 and it runs the latest iOS 13.4 perfectly. It will be supported for years to come. The phone had a new design with a nearly bezel-less screen, stainless steel around the top, sides and the bottom of the phone. In my opinion the worst aspect of the iPhone X is the battery health. Mine's at 84 and dies very fast with stuff like FaceTime, YouTube and social media. You get the battery replaced or do it yourself if you have this problem but if you're looking for an iPhone with a better battery life I'd get the iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone XR or the iPhone 11. So if we just look at the design, we have a stainless steel body, we have a, gl a glass back and a 5.8 inch OLED screen. On the front it's a good clean design, there's two colours, I've got the silver one but there's also a space grey one which is kind of black. It had a lot less colours than the iPhone 7 and 8 did. The screen itself looks really good with deep blacks and a clear picture. It was a big upgrade from the LCD screens found on the previous iPhones. On the top of the display we have a face ID sensor which gave users a new way to unlock their iPhone. It was a bit slower than, than Touch ID second generation but it was good for what we had in 2017. In my opinion this phone is quite heavy compared to the older ones but it's durable and premium. Just make sure you snap a case on it. Um, for the camera we've got a 12 megapixel shooter and uh, 12 megapixel telephoto lens. I think this is the first and last one with the telephoto lens. It can shoot 4K video. The photos are just are great, just not in the dark. The specs are the A11 Bionic chip with 3 gigabytes of RAM, which feels very fast. It will last you for years to come, so you won't have any issues. Overall, I do recommend this phone in 2020 if you do find one for a good price. But if you've got a bigger budget maybe get an iPhone XS or XS Max if you want a bigger phone get a XR or a XS Max so it's quite a snappy phone also like you won't have any problems with slowdown you might like I said you probably just have issues with the battery life which I did and it wasn't fun at all like if I just go into battery here see battery have 84% and I've got optimised battery charging on as well but it still dies quite quickly. I mean, it's on 28% right now, and it's half four. All I've used this for today is one YouTube video, a couple of phone calls, and Snapchat and Instagram, maybe Facebook a few times. So, but who do I recommend this phone to? So, if you've got an iPhone with an older design, let's say a 5S, 6, or 7, maybe even an 8, but they did come out the same year as the 8, maybe get this if you want the newer design and you just want to feel a bit more in the future. But if you've got an 8 then I'd say keep that one um, if you wanted to upgrade from this phone what would I suggest maybe wait until the iPhone 12 or 13 or maybe even 14 if you can wait but overall this phone is very very good for its age it's lasted very good it's really durable like apart, apart from the back so I could did say use a case on it because if you drop and crack this it's going to cost you a lot to get it replaced unless you can do it yourself which I personally I know how to change batteries and screens and stuff, but the whole housing, I've never done that before, so I do my best not to drop it. But I do know one person that has a really bad cracked one, and it's just, it's not pretty, and I just, I'd hate that, so that's why I've got a case and a screen protector on mine. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.